In Russia this morning, there are questions over the two generals commanding Russian forces in Ukraine who have not been seen in public since last weekend's rebellion. President Vladimir Putin has been making public appearances, reasserting control after the Wagner Group's private army briefly threatened Moscow on Saturday. Ian Lee talked with the Ukrainian president's national security advisor in his first interview since the uprising. Adoring supporters greeted President Vladimir Putin in southern Russia yesterday, the Kremlin projecting a leader who's popular and in control. But questions remain surrounding the mercenary boss Yevgeny Prigozhin's failed insurrection last weekend. CBS News has learned the U.S. has intelligence that a senior Russian general had advanced knowledge of the mutiny, raising the possibility that the Wagner leader believed he had support from within the Russian military. The Kremlin said yesterday these allegations are speculation and gossip. But in Kyiv, Ukraine's National Security Chief Oleksiy Danilov claimed Prigozhin was in league with not one, but 14 senior Russian military officers. Prigozhin does have support in the highest ranks of the Russian military. Prigozhin is not an independent person. He is owned by high-ranking people in President Putin's inner circle. One senior general widely reported to be involved is Sergei Sorovikin, who hasn't been seen since telling mutineers to return to base. Was he one of the generals that took part in this mutiny? Do you want me to name them all? Yes. I can't. Many analysts say President Putin has been weakened by this revolt, and Danilov believes he may face another attempted uprising. Even if he executes the generals who had some sort of part in the mutiny, this will not affect the outcome. The wheels are in motion for Putin's demise. Danilov also believes the failed mutiny and chaos in Russia will eventually benefit Ukraine in the war against Russia. For CBS Mornings, Ian Lee in Kyiv, Ukraine.